Kejawen or Javanism, also called Kabatinan, Agama Jawa, and Keperkayan, is a Javanese religious tradition, consisting of an amalgam of animistic, Buddhist, Hindu and Islamic, especially Sufi, beliefs and practices. It is rooted in Javanese history and religiosity, syncretizing aspects of different religions. <laughs> Definitions The term Kabatinan is being used interchangeably with Kejawen, Agama Jawa and Keperkayan, although they are not exactly the same Kabatinan, the science of the inner inwardness, derived from the Arabic word baitan, meaning inner or hidden. Kejawen, Javanism, the culture and religious beliefs and practices of the Javanese people of Central Java and East Java. It is not a religious category, but refers to an ethic and a style of life that is inspired by Javanist thinking. Agama Jawa, the Javanese religion. Keperkayan, belief, faith. Full term, Keperkayan Kapata Tuan Yang Maha Esa, believer in one mighty God. Keperkayan is an official cover term for various forms of mysticism in Indonesia. According to Calderola, it is not an apt characterization of what the mystical groups have in common. It includes Kabatinan, Kejiwan, and Karahanian. Kabatinan is the inner directed cultivation of inner peace, rooted in pre Islamic traditions, whereas Kejiwan is outer directed and community oriented, manifesting in rituals and practices. History Java has been a melting pot of religions and cultures, which has created a broad range of religious belief, including animism, spirit cults, and cosmology. <inaudible> <inaudible> Hinduism and Buddhism Indian influences came firstly in the form of Hinduism, which reached the Indonesian archipelago as early as the 1st century. By the 4th century, the kingdom of Kutai in East Kalimantan, Tarumanagara in West Java, and Holing Kalinga in Central Java, were among the early Hindu states established in the region. Several notable ancient Indonesian Hindu kingdoms are Mataram, famous for the construction of the majestic Prambanan temple, followed by Kedari and Singhasari. Since then Hinduism, along with Buddhism, spread across the archipelago and reached the peak of its influence in the 14th century. The last and largest of the Hindu-Buddhist Javanese empires, that of the Majapahit, influenced the entire Indonesian archipelago. Hinduism and Buddhism penetrated deeply into all aspects of society, blending with the indigenous tradition and culture. One conduit for this were the ascetics, called Rezi, who taught a variety of mystical practices. A Rezi lived surrounded by students, who took care of their master's daily needs. Rezi's authorities were merely ceremonial. At the courts, Brahmin clerics and Pudyanga sacred literati legitimized rulers and linked Hindu cosmology to their political needs. Presently, small Hindu enclaves are scattered throughout Java, but there is a large Hindu population along the eastern coast nearest Bali, especially around the town of Banyuwangi. <laughs> Islam Java adopted Islam around 1500 CE. Islam was first accepted by the elites and upper echelons of society, which contributed to the further spread and acceptance. Sufism and other versions of folk Islam were most easily integrated into the existing folk religion of Java. The learned versions of Sufi Islam and Sheri backquota oriented Islam were integrated at the courts, blending with the rituals and myths of the existing Hindu-Buddhist culture. Clifford Geertz described this as a Bangan and Priyayi the lower class and elite varieties of Javanese syncretism." The Kyai, the Muslim scholar of the writ became the new religious elite as Hindu influences receded. Islam recognizes no hierarchy of religious leaders nor a formal priesthood, but the Dutch colonial government established an elaborate rank order for mosque and other Islamic preaching schools. In Javanese Pasantran Islamic schools, the Kyai perpetuated the tradition of the Rezi. Students around him provided his needs, even peasants around the school. Christianity 
Christianity was brought to Java by Portuguese traders and missionaries, from the Dutch Reformed Church, and in the 20th century also by Roman Catholics, such as the Jesuits and the Divine Word missionaries. Nowadays there are Christian communities, mostly Reformed in the larger cities, though some rural areas of south-central Java are strongly Roman Catholic. Roman Catholics and other Christian groups have been persecuted for their beliefs such as a ban on Christmas services or decorations. Islam and Kabadinan Nowadays more than 90% of the people of Java are Muslims, on a broad continuum between Abangan and Santri. Although Java is nominally Islamitic, Kejuan, the syncretic Javanese culture, is a strong undercurrent. Pre-Islamic Javan traditions have encouraged Islam in a mystical direction. Some Javanese texts relate stories about Saik Siti Jenner, also known as Saik Lema Abang, who had conflicts with Wali Sangha, the nine Islamic scholars in Java, and the Sultanate of Damak. Although Saik Siti Jenner was a Sufi whose teaching were similar with al halaj most of his followers come from Kabadinan. Some historians have doubted the existence of Saik Siti Jenner, suggesting the stories represent conflicts between Kabatinan and Islam in the past. With the Islamization of Java, there emerged a loosely structured society of religious leadership, revolving around Kie, Islamic experts possessing various degrees of proficiency in pre Islamic and Islamic lore, belief, and practice. The Kie are the principal intermediaries between the village's masses and the realm of the supernatural. However, this very looseness of Kyai leadership structure has promoted schism. There were often sharp divisions between Orthodox Kye, who merely instructed in Islamic law, with those who taught mysticism and those who sought reformed Islam with modern scientific concepts. As a result, the Javanese recognize two broad streams of religious commitment. Santri or Pudahan, pure ones, those who pray, performing the five obligatory daily ritual prayers. They are more orthodox in their Islamic belief and practice, and oppose the Abangan, who they consider to be heterodox. Abangan, the Red Ones, who do not strictly observe the Islamic rituals. They have mixed pre-Islamic animistic and Hindu-Indian concepts with a superficial acceptance of Islamic belief, and emphasize the importance of the purity of the inner person, the Baitan, this distinction between the high Islam or scripturalist, sherry backquota oriented Islam of the backquote ulama, and living local Islam, or folk Islam, or popular Islam, is not restricted to Java, but can be found in other Islamic countries as well. Ernest Gellner has developed an influential model of Muslim society, in which this dichotomy is central. He sees a dialectical relationship between the two, with periods of scripturalist dominance followed by relapses into emotional, mystical, magical folk Islam. Modernity—especially urbanization and mass literacy—unsettles the balance between the two, by eroding the social bases of folk Islam. An irreversible shift to scripturalist Islam occurs, which is in Gellner's view the equivalent of secularization in the West. Bruinessen finds this too limited, and distinguishes three overlapping spheres Sherry backquota oriented Islam, Sufism, mystical Islam, which has its learned and popular variants, the periphery of local rituals, local shrines, local spirit cults, and heterodox beliefs and practices in general. Javanese syncretistic religiousness has a strong popular base, outnumbering the Santri and the support for Islamic political parties. Choi relates this to a Javanese apparent openness to new religions, but filtering out only those elements which fit into the Javanese culture. Choi mentions several reasons for this nominal Islamic identity. The Islamic scholars in Java have been trained in curricula which were geared for social conditions of two or three centuries ago, lacking the ability to impart the spirit and sense of Islam. The inability to summarize the principles of Islam in understandable basic points which can be applied to daily life. Kabatinan can be learned and understood without the need to learn Arabic. In the early 20th century, several groups became formalized, developing systematized teachings and rituals, thus offering a high form of Abangan religiosity, as an alternative to the high Islam. Bruinessen opines that the Kabatinan movements is a deliberate rejection of scriptural Islam, which arose out of folk Islam. Topic. Characteristics Topic. Aim 
Kabatinan is derived from the Arabic word baitan, meaning inner, or hidden, or inner self. It is a metaphysical search for harmony within one's inner self, connection with the universe, and with an almighty God. Kabatinan believe in a super-consciousness, which can be contacted through meditation. Topic. Beliefs Kabatinan is a combination of metaphysics, mysticism and other esoteric doctrines from animistic, Hinduistic, Buddhist and Islamic origins. Although the Javanese culture is tolerant, and open to new religions, only those qualities are accepted and filtered which fit into the Javanese culture, character and personality. Javanese ideals combine human wisdom psyche and perfection the follower must control his, her passions, eschewing earthly riches and comforts, so that he, she may one day reach enlightened harmony and union with the spirit of the universe. According to Choi, the Kabatinan have no certain prophet, sacred book, nor distinct religious festivals and rituals. Nevertheless, various Kabatinan movements have their own foundational writings and founders. A Kabatinan practitioner can identify with one of the six officially recognized religions, while still subscribe to the Kabatinan belief and way of life. Topic membership Although Kabatinan is a predominantly Javanese tradition, it has also attracted practitioners from other ethnic and religious groups, such as Chinese and Buddhists, and foreigners from Australia and Europe. President Suharto counted himself as one of its adherents. Their total membership is difficult to estimate as many of their adherents identify themselves with one of the official religions. Topic official recognition The Indonesian state ideology strives toward a unified nation, recognizing only monotheism. Meanwhile, there is also a tolerance for non-recognized religions. A broad plurality of religions and sects exist. In the middle of 1956, the Department of Religious Affairs in Yogyakarta reported 63 religious sects in Java other than the official Indonesian religions. Of these, 22 were in West Java, 35 were in Central Java, and 6 in East Java. These include also Kabatinan groups, such as Sumara. This loosely organized current of thought and practice was legitimized in the 1945 constitution, but failed to attain official recognition as a religion. In 1973 it was recognized as Keprakayan Kapada Tuan Yang Maha Esa Indonesian, belief in one mighty God, but withdrawn from the jurisdiction of the Ministry of Religion and placed under the jurisdiction of the Ministry of Education and Culture. Topic practices A variety of practices is being used in Kabatinan to acquire ilmu, namely Taraka and Tapa or Tapabrata. Many Kabatinan followers practice in their own way to seek spiritual and emotional relief. These practices are not performed in churches or mosques, but at home or in caves or on mountain perches. Meditation in Javanese culture is a search for inner self-wisdom and to gain physical strength. This tradition is passed down from generation to generation. Topic meditation There are several tapa, tapa nga long meditation by hanging from a tree tapa kunkum meditation under small waterfall or meeting point of two to three rivers, tempuran, jampuhan topic fasting Fasting is a common practice employed by Javanese spiritualists in order to attain discipline of mind and body to get rid of material and emotional desires, pasa muda abstention from eating anything that is salted and sweetened, only eat, drink pure water and rice, pasa senin kemis fasting on Monday to Thursday Day, fasting for a longer period, usually three, five, seven days. Topic animistic worship Kabatinan often implies animistic worship, because it encourages sacrifices and devotions to local and ancestral spirits. These spirits are believed to inhabit natural objects, human beings, artifacts, and grave sites of important wali Muslim saints. Illness and other misfortunes are traced to such spirits, and if sacrifices or pilgrimages fail to placate angry deities, the advice of a dukan or healer is sought. Topic other practices Other practices include, Tapa Pati Jenny avoiding fire or light for a day or days and isolating oneself in dark rooms, Tapa Nadam stand, walk on foot from sunset till sunset, 24 hours in silence the rituals carried out on Mount Kemukas also known as Sex Mountain, which have also been linked to Kejawen. Topic historical texts Kabatinan and Kejawen practices are extensively written about in texts that are held in the Sanabudoyo Library in Yogyakarta, and the main Kraton libraries of Surakarta and Yogyakarta. Many of the texts are deliberately elliptical so that those who do not work with either initiates or teachers are unable to ascertain or understand the esoteric doctrines and practices. 
In quite a few cases codified texts with secret systems to unlock the meanings are employed. But according to Bruinessen, the writing down of Kabatinan teachings was a novelty which appeared with the institutionalization of the Kabatinan movements in the beginning of the 20th century. <laughs> Kabatinan organizations The appearance of formal Kabatinan movements reflects the modernization of Indonesia. Kabatinan movements appeared early in the 1900s in urban traditional elite circles, together with the rise of nationalism and the Muhammadiyya, a modernist Islamic movement. Hartapasoro, one of the earliest Kabatinan movements, had strong links with the Theosophical Society. Some remained very elitist, while others also accepted lower urban and rural followings, thereby popularizing a Bangan, or syncretistic Islam, as an alternative to Sheri backquota oriented Islam. After the independence of 1949, the Kabatinan received political support and attracted large followings. Kabatinan movements were seen by secular nationalistic elites as allies against the rise of political Islam. The political struggle between the Muslim parties and the communists and nationalists lead to a sharper demarcation between syncretistic and sherry backquota oriented Islam, whereby most Kabatinan movements affiliated with the communist or nationalist parties, umbrella organizations representing several hundred Kabatinan organizations, lobbied to attain legitimacy and recognition as an official religion. They are registered at the HKP which is controlled by the PAKEM After the Suharto era the Kabatinan movements lost political support, and have become less dynamic, their adherents avoiding public engagement. Altogether several hundred Kabatinan groups are or have been registered, the best known of which are Subid Sumara Panjastu Sapta Dharma Majapahit Pankasila Subid Subid was founded in the 1920s by Muhammad Subu Sumohadiwijojo. The name Subid was first used in the late 1940s when Subid was legally registered in Indonesia. The basis of Subid is a spiritual exercise commonly referred to as the Ladahan Kejiwan, which was said by Muhammad Subu to be guidance from the power of God or the great life force. The aim of Subid is to attain perfection of character according to the will of God. Only when passion, heart and mind are separated from the inner feeling is it possible to make contact with the great life force, which permeates everywhere. The name Subid is formed from the word Sicilla the good character of man, booty, the force of the inner self, and dharma, trust in God. These words are derived from the Sanskrit words sasila, bodhi and dharma. Muhammad Subhu saw the present age as one that demands personal evidence and proof of religious or spiritual realities, as people no longer just believe in words. He claimed that Subit is not a new teaching or religion but only that the Ladahan Kejiwan itself is the kind of proof that humanity is looking for. He also rejected the classification of Subid as a Kabatinan organization. There are now Subid groups in about 83 countries, with a worldwide membership of about 10,000. <laughs> Sumara Sumara was formed in the 1930s by Pak Hardo, Pak Sadina and Pak Sutadi, without a formal organization. In those early days, the younger members were taught kanoman, occult practices including invulnerability for knives and guns. This was regarded as essential in the struggle against the Dutch colonial powers. Around 1950, when Indonesia became an independent nation, Sumara was streamlined and organized by Dr. Serono. The emphasis shifted from magic to surrender to God. From 1957 on internal struggles surfaced between drive. Serono and the founders Pak Hardo and Pak Sadina, leading to a change in leadership by Dr. Ari Muthi in 1967, Sumara theology maintains that humankind's soul is like the Holy Spirit, a spark from the divine essence, which means that we are in essence similar to God. In other words, one can find God within oneself, a belief similar to the I equals God. Theory found in Hindu Javanese literature, according to Sumara theology, man and his physical and spiritual world are divided into three parts the physical body and brain. One section, Sukusma, governs the passions. In the brain, the faculty of thinking has two functions to record memories, 
to serve as a means of communion with God, the invisible world, which is situated within the chest. It is the jiwa, the ineffable soul, which provides the driving forces governing thought and reason. It is here that the deeper feeling rasa is located. The more elusive and sublime world. The most elusive and sublime world is hidden somewhere near the anatomical heart. Sumera's conception of God is different from Islam. It has a pantheistic vision of reality, considering God to be present in all living beings. Topic: <laughs> Panjastu. Panjastu was founded in 1949. Its doctrine was revealed in 1932 to Sunar Tumur and written down in the Saita Sasanka Jati by R.T. Harjo Parakawo and R. Trihardono Sumodiharjo Pangastu. It describes the way to obtain Wahyu, the blessing of God. Sapta Dharma Sapta Dharma was founded in 1952 by Harjo Sapura, after he received a revelation. According to Sri Pawanong, it was God's wish to provide the Indonesian people with a new spirituality in a time of crisis. Its aim is to free man of his passions. According to Sapta Dharma teachings, suji meditation is necessary to pierce through different layers of obstacles to reach Samar, the guardian spirit of Java. Theory and practice resemble Hindu Kundalini Yoga, aiming at awakening the Kundalini energy and guiding it through the chakras. Topic. Majapahit Pankasila Majapahit Pankasila was founded by W. Harjanta Parjapangarsa. It is based in Javanese Hindu yogic practices, c. q. Kundalini Yoga, rather than Balinese ritual practice as is prevalent in Parasada Hindu Dharma. According to Harjanta, his meditation practices also lead to invulnerability for knives, daggers and other weapons. Topic. Spread of Kabatinan Topic. Malaysia Kabatinan beliefs have spread to some parts of Malaysia, wherein certain individuals have combined it with Islamic concepts e.g. proclaiming themselves to be New Age Islamic prophets, but delivering messages that are a combination of Islamic and Kabatinan beliefs. This has led to the Malaysian Islamic authorities declaring elements of Kabatinan to be Sayoric shirk and un-Islamic. Kabatinan interpretations of Islam are widespread in Malaysia among practitioners of silat, traditional healers, and some preachers such as Arifan Muhammad and other self-proclaimed Islamic prophets. <laughs> <laughs> Netherlands In the Netherlands, the former colonial power in Indonesia, some Kabatinan groups are active. Topic. Singapore Since the majority of Singaporean Malays are of Indonesian descent, particularly from Java, many of Kabatinan are still practiced usually among older people. However, the practice is still widespread among some Javanese Silat and Kuda Keping groups, and also traditional shamans. Topic. Suriname It was brought to Suriname by Javanese workers in the late 19th century. Topic see also Sunda Wivatan Balinese Hinduism Javanese Calendar Javanese Sacred Places Mythology of Indonesia Wewa Gombal Ziarat Slamitan Hanitu 1998 East Java Ninja Scare Topic Notes Topic References Topic Sources Topic Published Sources Topic Web Sources Topic Further reading Geertz, Clifford 1976, Religion of Java, University of Chicago Press Jones, David 2010, Magic and Mysticism in Java Kinney, Ann R., Clock, Marijka J., Kievan, Lydia 2003, Worshipping Shiva and Buddha, The Temple Art of East Java, University of Hawaii Press Retsikas, Konstantinos 2012, Becoming, an Anthropological Approach to Understandings of the Person in Java, Anthem Press Stang, Paul N. D., The Evolution of Sumara PDF topic External links Kejuwen, a Javanese traditional spiritual teaching, Joglosmar Online A Center for Javanese Metaphysics and Kundalini Yoga Sumara Sumarah, A Study of the Art of Living Indonesia. Com, Religion at Java.